Welcome to another Cinema 4D Unity tutorial. Um, this one's just kind of a little bit about both, uh, mostly Cinema 4D, but um, starting to get more and more into uh, talking about building virtual, excuse me, virtual reality applications, either gamified or using 360 video and doing actual 360 video production. Um, so this one's kind of just a little tutorial about uh, you know, a, a, a trick to keep in mind if you're doing anything related to building for you know, the Oculus Go or the Oculus Rift, um, which obviously those two in itself are different, but um, what we're talking about are uh, polygons versus uh, triangles, and these are going to be really important statistics for you to keep in mind when you're building your game. Um, if you start going over well over 100,000 tries um, in every view in your virtual reality game you're gonna have a lot of issues your frame rates gonna drop you're gonna see a lot of uh, motion blur and things like that that creep in so uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about it um, so I'm just in cinema 4d right now um, and in cinema 4d obviously we got the content browser with some very nice um, some preloaded content um, in this particular case, I'm just going to go into the broadcast folder and download, and you already saw a little glimpse of it already, but I'm just going to bring this roulette table into the scene here, this really cool model. So let's say I'm designing some sort of a casino themed game or something like that. And yeah, why not use this? It's perfect. It's beautiful. It has everything you'd want. Um, but there's one slight problem. Uh, if I go to my object, and I get object information, I know that this is, has 233,000 polygons, um, which is not an overt deal breaker for the Rift, but for the Oculus Go, you're, you're not gonna wanna use this. Um, and I'll show you why. So here's 233,000 polygons. Um, now let's say we're gonna export this out as a, uh, a DIE so we can get the colada, we can get the textures and the materials as well as the model in. Um, I've already done this. So let's go over to Unity and in here I'm going to take my roulette table. I just have a standard scene set up here. Um, it's going to come in massive so I'm going to scale it down to 0.1. And I'm just going to kind of slowly bring this thing into frame. Uh, something like this. This might be a first person's perspective on standing at a roulette table or something. Um, so first I'm going to turn it back off again and I have my two views in Unity stacked on top of each other. My game view on the bottom and my game view I'm just going to click, click the stats button. This is a very very uh, important thing for um, building your games. In it, you're going to get instead of a polygon count you got in Cinema 4D, you're going to get a tries count, uh, which right now 1.7K is nothing. That's mostly being generated by the background here and uh, just keeping everything smooth along the horizon. And I'm going to get a frame rate count, which is also very um, important, um, as well as getting some information about what's saved by batching. Um, so uh, let's bring this table back in let's see what happens so I'm gonna activate it and I'm gonna click down here in the game view you'll notice what happened is I now have six million tries uh, being calculated in this scenario which already if this is the only thing you build um, you are well above the threshold for safely building a game for the Oculus Go and the Oculus Rift so this is just a a model that you simply cannot use um, in designing your games. While cool, as cool as it is, and I don't even have the textures on it, um, as professional of a model as it is, you're going to need to go in and create a much more low poly model uh, that does this. And it's, and it's possible. Um, it's easy to do. But this particular model is, model is way too complex. You can see my frame rate has dropped to 27 frames. Um, I'm at 7.5 million tries. Now, I don't have any dynamic batching on, um, so there are some workarounds if you're close to that threshold um, by simply going to your project settings and your uh, quality settings. Um, 
you can affect things by reducing your quality that you need um, for your model. That's going to bring down quite a bit. Um, you can change the shadows, like you could disable shadows, and you'll notice I went down to 1.5 million tries. So I lost like 3.5 million tries just by doing that. Uh, another good one is to change your shadow distance, especially in VR, so you're not calculating shadows that are far away. Um, you could you could t change the texture quality, but it's not going to give you much as far as tries. Um, so it's only if you've got some really complex textures. Um, this has just really been a tutorial about showing you how to um, begin to analyze the Unity platform um, if you're planning on ever building a game for Rift or Go and what to keep in mind when you're coming in from your modeling program like Cinema 4D or Maya or Blender. Um, so this has been a really quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe and stay tuned for uh, many more tutorials related to this topic.